So this is a recording of the call I made to Waikiki Health at 2.29 p.m. The call lasted for 13 minutes, 13 seconds. And this is a recording, a uh, video recording on my phone of the voice recorder and the call that was made to Waikiki Health. Um, responding to a voicemail that I got on my phone. Um, in the meantime, the AI computer uh, voice to skull is talking about uh, what I'm doing right now from Pearl Harbor Hickam Air Force Base from across the sky. They're focused sound and uh, since the call earlier, um, I was not able and still am not able to, um, even though I checked my voicemail, to uh, clear the notification of the voicemails from off my screen. It's been grabbing my screen ever since that call. Um, the other day, it put up a Google screen when I got my housing call from Bryce. Um, and they're also not letting me uh, do two videos of a white van earlier um, and upload them to YouTube saying that I, I need to pick another video. It's, um, so they're, they're hacked into my phone. Um, this is a recording of Waikiki Health and what's going on down there concerning my medical records and my medication. Oh. 
them an appointment with another provider for your medication refill. Well, what do you mean another provider? With a different doctor. So Lindsay Flores is a uh, 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 stepped out of my uh, uh, case then, huh? Yeah, it doesn't look like she will be taking your refill request. She said what? It was all garbage. I'll be rewinding this for a second. So that just goes to show you what they can do with a voice recorder. She said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah," and it just, it just, you can't even understand it. So they're covering up what she said. All right, there, I got a little. Yeah, it's all squeaky right there where she said. So right there, that this government thing grabbed my recorder, obviously, and just squeaked the crap out of it because you hear how they do that? They just totally covered up what she said. You hear all that? You can't even freak. You can't understand what she said. The message, you know. That's that government corrupt shit right there. And in the meantime, the notes for the microwaves, they lost the consent for them. Now they're talking right now at Pearl Harbor Hickam Air Force Base as I do this across the sky. Um, uh, he, he, he's on to what we're doing. He ain't stupid, blah, blah, blah. Coming from across the sky, like they got everything just hooked in, man.
answered the pharmacy's fax. And she said, I did. I sent them. You must have not went in. She says, and they must have put them back on the show for me. And I said, you know what? You're a damn liar. I said, I've been going down there every single day to the pharmacist. I says, I want my damn meds set. And uh, she says, I did send them, but I'll send them again if you want me to. And I went down there and I told the pharmacist, and I got her as a witness. I, I says, uh, she said that she sent them, and the pharmacist laughed. And she says, I can't even believe she said that. You've been angry every day checking on them. I said, yeah, I know. She's a liar. And now all of a sudden, she's not doing my medications anymore. And another thing, I, signed, I, I, I had them do a note this last time uh, I was down there which was the 27th um, of last month. And uh, I filled out a, a, a medical request form for the notes from that day. And they're telling me that they lost my medical request form for the release of records. And um, I am recording this, and I recorded that also. Um, and uh, I told him, I looked, I took a picture of it that day, okay? I got a picture of the medical release form, and now they're telling me they lost it. So there's going to be a lawsuit filed on YTC Health or something, because it just continues to neglect and the lies and everything else. Because, um, I, for one, I don't like it. I signed a medical release form, and it's just floating around with my job and Thank you. 
right now the time is 2.43 p.m.